Okay, well once you're happy with the flashing lights on your mini move, the next step is to get it mobile. And what you have to do first is calibrate your servos. And so I've got a, a picture here from the instruction manual, and the servos are these green, sorry, these blue small boxes connected to this um, white circles, which ultimately become your wheels. And so how you calibrate them is you write a code which t tells your servers um, how to rotate. And let's scroll down here and you can see that um, we're going to put in the degrees. That's what we're going to code now for your survey and servos. And when your degrees are zero, it means the servos are going to turn anti-clockwise. When it's 90 degrees, the servos will stop rotating and when they set to 180 degrees the servos will go clockwise and so you actually have to write a, a code for this um, you, okay sorry I was uh, scrolling up there um, and this is literally the code we write it's quite a, a short easy code um, so you're just going to say when you push button A servos connected to pin 1 must turn at degrees 180, servers connected to pin 2 must rotate at 180, and remember what did we say was 180? Um, let's find that nice diagram, 180 means go clockwise. Then you're going to say, well, when you push button B, you want them to rotate at degree 0, and remember again, degree 0 means it's going to go anti-clockwise. And then, so literally it's going to go clockwise when you push button A, anti-clockwise when you push button B and when you push A and B together it's going to go to 90 degrees and 90 degrees is when it stops and so that's how you're going to get your servers to stop rotating. So um, start up your go to microbit.org hit let's code um, go down to your block editor let's code start a new project Okay, and we want to click on input and click on on button A, press, click and drag it onto your screen. And remember, this is where we're going to put the, the red command that says server right pin um, 2, and then we put however many degrees. So you can look through, but I find it easier at the top here to, to just type. So type the word server, and it's this first one here, server right pin. So click and drag over here. And so server right pin, click on it, say P1, set to 180, and then click on the whole box and right click, duplicate, click and drag over here, and keep it the same. Server right pin, but change this to P2, and also make it 180. So both servos, the left and right wheels, are going to go um, clockwise when you push button A. Now the easiest thing now is to click on this purple button over here, uh, sorry, this purple block, right click and then duplicate and it copies the whole thing. Drag it down here, you'll see it's grayed out and the reason why it is is because um, here is still A um, when you push button A and you can't have the same command twice, like a, the fact that this is grey means it's redundant, it's not going to work. Unless you click on this down arrow and choose B. You can see now it becomes a color again because these two commands are different. And over here we're going to change 180, sorry, change it to 0. So it's going to go anti-clockwise when you push button B. And then again click on purple, right click duplicate, drag down. You can see again it's grayed out. So you're going to click on the down arrow and you're going to click on A plus B, so it becomes colored again, and change this to 90. So when you push A and B, your servos are going to stop. Um, and so you can see here, I didn't mention earlier, this whole pin 1, pin 2. It's, you can see it's very well shown in the picture on the left-hand side here. So these blue boxes here are your servos, and um, one of them is connected to pin 1 in your microbit, the other one is connected to pin 2 in your microbit, and um, this is kind of what's going on inside your mini-move. And so that's why we have to say here, pin 1, pin 2. You could see when we clicked on the down area here, we could have chosen other pins, but at the moment we can see in the figure it's connected to pin 1 and pin 2 um, within your microbit. So that's why we had to choose it. Okay, so you're going to call it something. Maybe let's call it server. 
and click save. It asks you where to save it. Like I always say, I keep it on my desktop in a folder so that I can find it easily. And I'm going to keep it um, as microbit server. Click save and now you can download it to your um, microbit. And um, you actually now need to connect your servos to your mini move. And so how you do that, let's just check we're in the right place here. Um, so uh, I just found it easier to use the instruction manual than having to do a separate video and then merge them together and output it. And so you can see this is the battery pack on the back of your mini move. This block over here is your mini move um, board and that's your micro bit on the front attached to it and this is your battery pack. And you've got these three pins and so that's the wires from your one server and here are the wires from your other server. Very important, look at this, the top wire must be brown, middle red, bottom orange. So make sure top is brown, bottom is orange and you plug them in and it will look something like this. And once you've loaded your code onto your micro bit um, and you've put your battery into the back of the mini move here, as soon as you push button A, they should start rotating in a clockwise direction and push button B, they should start going anti-clockwise and push two together and they should stop. Now this is the bit where they might actually not stop because you actually need to calibrate them now. And thinking about it, I probably will do a video um, just because it's always uh, a bit daunting having to do it by yourself. Um, something that's written on paper is never as clear. Um, and so just to give you an explanation of what's going to happen next is when you push A and B together, they might not stop. And so what you actually have to do is go to the bottom of your server. There's a small little screw. You can see it's the star shape. And you have to rotate this until your servos stop. So you've pushed A and B. They should be stopping. They're not stopping. So you rotate this trimmer um, until they do stop and that's what it's, it means to calibrate your server. I remember when I did it the first time I was absolutely petrified I was going to break it. Um, it wasn't such a problem. I did need a small screwdriver to do this. Um, I'm not sure how well it will work with a bigger star screwdriver. And you literally turn it until it's, um, your servos stop and then you can test it again. Push A, they rotate clockwise, B, they rotate anti-clockwise push them together and they stop um, and if they don't stop the second time again calibrate it. Um, I remember it took a few times and even after I had done it a few times I wasn't 100% sure I had done it correct but it seemed to um, kind of settle down after a while. I must admit now I actually just still just take out my battery out of my mini move just in case I haven't done it 100%. Um, so let me do a video on that just so for those of you who might not feel comfortable about it. But yeah that's how you put together your your servos and then ultimately that your next step is assembling your chassis and then the video I'll do after this is on how to use your cell phone what code you would write to use the app on your cell phone to actually get your mini move moving around. Okay so I've loaded my servo.hex file onto my micro bit and you can see something's wrong because my wheel is going and that wheel's not but anyway for now let's okay put it down so if I push A it's gonna both of them should go clockwise. So they both start going crazy. You can see that one looks like it's going back and this one is going forward. So they're both going anti-clockwise. They opposite, they're both going anti-clockwise but they go opposite to each other. And now if I push the B button, this one's going forward and this one's going back. So they're going anti-clockwise but they should be opposite to each other. And if I push both together, we should um, get it to stop. And you can see it hasn't stopped. And that's what the, the book talks about, is that may, then your servo, servo is not calibrated. And so it's going to be a bit difficult to do this with just one hand, but I really should have set this up better. You can see that when I pull out the wheel here, let's just get it to focus, over here there's a little baby screw. And that's what you've actually got to um, rotate until the wheel stops turning and it's a bit nerve-wracking at first and so I've got a, a bunch of mini screwdrivers um, I, I'm sure you could try it with a big screwdriver I, I don't know if it actually would work so um, I, that's why you really need to do this before you construct your micro bit but I had already constructed it but um, I'm, I'm quite surprised it's still causing trouble because I had calibrated it um, so I'm going to try hold this with my mouth <laughs> Okay, let's lean it up here. Sorry, you're getting a full view of everything. And so you can see, I'm going to take the small screwdriver 
get it in there if I can and rotate it. I remember I was pretty freaked out the first time I had to do it. I didn't want to break anything. Now I'm not actually sure this is going to work. Um, and you just rotate it until it stops. And so I get it in there. Okay, so you can see I turned a little bit, now it's going crazy. And it's that hole going from 180 to 90. Um, you've got to get through the, the middle bit where it stops. I'm rotating it a bit more, it's going a bit more crazy. It's, it's much easier, as I said, if it's not all connected up. Turning it a little bit more. Okay, and it's slowing. Let's t the, the catch is to get it to stop before you actually rotate it more. I'm going to use a smaller screwdriver before it gets back onto the fast rotation. So, okay, so that's too fast. I'm going to go back, back there. And I just don't seem to be getting... This one, it's, it's not actually turning. It's just like vibrating. Um, let's try it one more time. It might. No, now it's rotating a bit more. So you can see it's quite finicky. The book makes it sound like it's an easy thing to do. And if you're a brand new person dealing with it, it freaks you out a bit. So I'm going to turn it a bit more. And again, my turnings, are, yours will be a hang of a lot easy, easier if you're not having a fully constructed micro bit. Let's see what some of these other screws look like. Oh, I think I used this one last time. Okay. Getting in there. Okay. Too much. Back. And I also just remember the oh, see too much, and I was going. So this is kind of where I need to be. So I don't know if it's, something's wrong with my survey. So yours really should stop. Um, let's try it again. If we do both forward and then back, because it's it's really vibrating. So that's them going. That's them other direction, and this is me pushing it. Yeah. So it's not. It's, Let's just check it's not just vibrating because it's touching the side. No, it's literally vibrating. So literally what the difference from before when it was working fine and now is I reloaded the server program onto my micro bit. So I'm not sure how that could have changed things. Um, I'm going to take the battery out and put it back in again. But not to freak you out. The main reason why I wanted to do this video is just the first time you do it, I remember being petrified. I was going to break it. It's a small little screw. How much must I turn it? And you could see there, I was turning it a little bit anti-clockwise, clockwise, and you kind of, you go from full speed to nothing to full speed. So don't be afraid. You're not going to break it. Um, get your screwdriver, play around with it. You'll find the right spot. So I think I, I forgot to mention, the first time I did it, it, it reached zero, and then I like to take my battery out um, each time because I'm afraid of it draining the batteries. And kind of when I put the battery back in, um, it was... It wasn't calibrated again. And I was like, oh my word, I'll just put it all together. I have to undo it again. And literally, I left it for like two weeks because I didn't want to have to deal with it. And then when I switched on again, it was fine. So it seems to be a little bit finicky. So don't freak out if it's not 100% right. Stick with it. Take the battery in and out. Um, maybe just fiddle with it. But you can see here my servo is plugged in. Um, ironically, when I started this, the one wasn't working. And I figured out it was because I'd put this one upside down. And so the orange was on top. So make sure your, your brown wire is on top. So good luck.